Hi everyone, I'm back once again with another book review. And today I'm uh, continuing my Paperbacks from Hell series of reviews. And here I got the second book that Valancourt reprinted a part, a part of that series. is um, This is When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Inkstorm. This was originally published in 1985 by William Moreau Company. And, um, but yeah, this edition is from Valancourt in 2019. And we just show up the cover. Quite a nice cover. I'm always a fan of creepy dolls. And, uh, although this is a little different than other book covers, um, I've shown, because, uh, usually they give you an idea what the book's about. You know, like, for example, my last video about the nest, that's like, you know, had a cockroach on it, and you know, it's called the nest, and what's clearly about, you know, giant killer cockroaches. But, uh, this one doesn't really give you an idea what the book's about, like, from the cover alone. But something about this cover, though, is kind of like after you, f uh, finish the book, you, you know, I guess understand the whole, like, what the cover, like, the meaning and symbolism with it. Anyways, but the uh, thing about this uh, book here is uh, it's actually two novellas in this book. So what I'm going to do here is give two separate scores, you know, a score for each uh, story. And also this review is going to be spoiler free. So, uh, you yeah, know, there you go. Uh, what else? And oh, I will say this too. Uh, when Darkness Loves Us, I, I guess I technically read the... the I guess I technically read that book, but well, that you know, novella before, but I don't remember. I only remember like tiny bits of it, because I think at the time I wasn't really in the reading mood, and also I was reading in a car, so it was kind of hard to read and get like immersed and focused when the car is like you know going to moving that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I guess I just say that. So I guess this is like you know, I guess it's technically my second time reading When Darkness Loves Us, which is the first novella, because the the second novella is called beauty is but yeah think about it, you know take my second time i i would say feel like more like a first because like i said i barely remembered anything about it and like i said i, I wasn't really in the, the reading mood at the time and also plus that was like over two years ago um so i guess that's kind of it now i just just get into the uh synopsis here oh the thing about the synopsis there's like you know well there's like this is a little synopsis for you know beauty is and this is a little synopsis for when darkness loves us so i'll just you know read those two separately during a terrifying storm a gentle childhood childhood is destroyed by a twisted man who promises love but delivers nightmare in the lightless depths of an underground labyrinth unseen creatures lie in wait for an innocent traveler Cold skeletal hands stretched out and welcome. There is horror and darkness, horror made greater, and that's it. So yeah, those are the two synopsis. You know. Um. Okay, so I guess I'll now get into a bit of the details of uh, what the first uh, you know novel is about. Okay, so when darkness loves us, it's. Is that this girl named Sally Ann Hickson? Uh, yeah, Hickson, I believe. She's sixteen years old. And she, you know, she's incredibly happy. She's has a whole life ahead of her. She's like looking forward to like her, you know, her life with her husband that sort of thing. And keep in mind, yeah, you can get married at sixteen in some parts of the states, you know. And uh, I mean, kind of, it kind of varies, but I probably shouldn't get into the whole thing. But yeah, it's like it kind of depends, you know on the state and it's like oh and also uh, if like pa your parents give permission and blah 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 anyways but then well uh one day when she's just like decides to play a little trick on her husband uh she actually gets there's like this you know labyrinth like not too far from the property and well she uh accidentally gets trapped in there in complete darkness so she has to figure out a way to, you know, I guess, survive in this, you know, labyrinth and uh, how to escape it, that sort of thing. Again, I'm trying to be very vague here because I'm not going to spoil much because, uh, you know, well, 
the it's a little hard not to spoil anything because because you know the, both these novellas are not that long so it's actually kind of uh hard to talk about the them without spoiling but anyways, she gets trapped in here and it's basically her you know journey trying to figure out how to survive here and also like when she's in there strange things start to happen like she starts hearing things because keep in mind the book uh, you know the, the place is complete you know darkness she can't see anything so she has to rely on like you know her touching things and her like using sounds to like sort of like it's like kind of like echolocation to sort of figure out where she's uh where she is but yeah she starts uh hearing i guess in some ways seeing strange things and starts questioning like you know is this real and such so that's what I'll all I'll say about that book or that novella. And now I just give my opinions about it. Is that um, I thought it was really good. Like I really enjoyed that novella, like a lot. Matter of fact, I'm actually uh, gonna give it. I think it might be the first for my maybe from the first my channel. I don't even know, but I'm gonna give it a five out of five because that's actually how much I enjoyed it. Because. I thought it was really, it was like a really unique take and setting for things. And also, it's very beautifully beautifully written. And even then, it says I'm like, pretty, like, it has some pretty terrifying parts. Like, being stuck in this lab with would just be utterly, you know, terrifying. And it definitely keeps you, like, there's a lot of, like, well, how will the plot go? Is you definitely stay very glued to the pages. Like, you keep, you know, like... I was actually able to finish, uh, you know, uh, the, the the novella in one sitting because that's how much like you know because I I'm not I mean I do that sometimes with novellas but you know for me I'm always like goofing off and you know, but anyways but yeah because as I said I was like try to keep this short but yeah it was first novella really good you know had some really you know scary disturbing also down like some disturbing moments. And also, I felt like it did a pretty good job explaining how um, Sally is surviving in the labyrinth. Although some things I would question, but it's kind of like, well, I think some of that to do maybe due to her being trapped in there. She's uh, maybe her her mental state's not going so great. Like some decision making, yeah. But again, I, I can't really get into details like that without spoiling stuff. Um, so yeah, highly recommend recommended. Like I said, five out of five. Now, second story is Beauty Is. And this one's about a girl named Martha. Well, she's not really a girl. Like it basically opens with you know a, a woman named Martha. She's in her fifties, and both her parents just died. Like they both they both in well now laid to rest. Um, and she's someone who is mentally disabled. And some of the townsfolk, well, they're not too kind to her for that. Others are like others want you know take care of her. But others maybe the uh, you know. They're a little bit less sensitive toward that. And, uh, well, she's starting to just, like, she doesn't seem, like, when it first starts, she doesn't seem like she's capable of doing much other than, like, the handful of tasks that her parents made her do when they were, you know, still around. For example, one, when she speaks, she doesn't have, oh, Grant, I know it's going to be because I, 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 uh, I feel like I don't have the, the best, voca uh, the biggest vocabulary either. But yeah, like she doesn't seem like when she speaks, it's very like short things, and she just kind of repeats herself a lot. Like she, like one of the things she always does, like she's always like, she talks about feeding the chickens, you know, because she well she lives off a uh, farm, and it's like oh yeah, because that's what her parents uh, they want, uh, that's what they you know let her do, is they uh, feed the chickens. She always like says that, you know, like she always says the word like chickens gotta eat. But then, yeah, as the book continues, well, she starts to learn things, like how to function, and she even starts to make some uh, friends, that sort of thing. But, uh, I guess, we're, again, trying not to spoil things here, but... But it does seem like also there's, like, uh, it's, like, the thing about this book, though, yeah, it takes place, like, with, like, it's supposed to be, like, the present day, where it's like her, I guess, like after her parents die, but then it also goes into like the backstory of her parents, as well as like when she was, you know, first born and when she was a little girl and everything. So it's like you're sort of discovering stuff about her and maybe reasons why she she's you know the way she is that sort of thing. And 
so yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Um, so I'll just give my thoughts on that, you know, this book now, you know, I mean, the second novel, is that I also really enjoyed it. Um, I would say, yeah, actually, you know, I, I would say uh, I was debating whether to give it like a four and a half out of five or a five out of five, but I was like, yeah, I'll give it a five out of five because it's also a really good read. Like when I actually took the time to sit down and read the second second novella, I also just, you know, uh, breeze through the pages because it's also beautifully written and also, uh, you know, well, I don't even want to see you, you know, get me like really, um, what's the word? I guess I'm trying to find more carefully now, but yeah, just, you know, I was like really interested in seeing how things would be for Martha. And also, maybe this is just me, but I guess there's some things I could sort of related to when it came to Martha, like about her upbringing. Because I guess if you, uh, you know, or well, basically she didn't really go out much. Like, people, or basically her father never wanted her to go outside. And she was basically like, oh, when they had visitors over, she had to um, be in her room. That sort of thing. Because it's like her father didn't want more points to anyone to know she existed, that sort of thing. But yeah, there's things like, I guess, about the whole isolation and being alone and maybe not really be able to function, I guess, in public. I guess that's something I can relate to, especially back in the day. So that was actually something I was reading this. I'm just kind of like, oh, this, uh, I, I sort of, uh, I can sort of feel that, you know. I guess if you watch that one video I did, like the whole, like, you know, tag your psycho, you would know what I mean. Anyways, uh... The thing about this book, though, I would say that, uh, oh, in the second, I keep saying that word, but yeah, the second novella, you know, Beauty Is, is that it's not really a horror novel, though. I mean, I really enjoyed it, but I would say it's more of a drama with some mystery, because uh, there's really nothing scary in it. I mean, there's, like, some disturbing moments, especially at the end, like, near the end of the book, there's, like, some, you know, disturbing stuff, but most of it's actually just a, like I said, it's just more of a drama thriller kind of thing because it just talks about like you know um again like martha like how she's doing now and you know also about her backstory and about how her parents will and there's also some things in it that you will have to kind of uh have some you know like it, that's a, like it's not really uh the most uh grounded in reality again try not to spoil anything but there's like some uh there's like a woman she has like miraculous powers like they, it doesn't it really seem to be explained other than the fact that like oh this this gift she has is just like something she was given to by god that sort of thing yeah i know that sounds a little cheesy but uh, i would say that it's still really recommended because it's just like it's actually that great of a read i felt really uh engrossed in it and also like i said before about both these you know novellas is that they're both beautifully written um and yeah as I said, I was a little surprised how much I actually really enjoyed reading these, uh, but that's maybe because I've been reading a lot of, like, splatterpunk stuff, so reading some, like, two novels that are very, you know, different. I mean, granted, the first one, you know, When Darkness Loves Us has some more stuff that I guess it's a little bit more like splatterpunk, because it has some pretty disturbing po points to it, but, um, I guess it's just more atmospheric, that's the thing, I guess made it different, and it goes a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, um... But yeah, especially the second one, I was like, yeah, I was actually a little surprised how much I liked it, despite the fact that it was not really, uh, you know, a horror novel that much, I felt. But I, maybe that's just because, you know, it was just a nice change of pace from all the, you know, gory, you know, books I've been reading. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I guess that's kind of it. Like I said, it was, it was, this one's a little harder to make because it's like, both these books are kind of short. So, um... It was just a little hard to talk about them without spoiling too much. But anyways, now I just like wrap things up. So yeah, When Darkness Loves Us, really good read. You know, both uh, novellas I highly recommend, even though I will say that they're not exactly, like this is, this, especially the second novella, it's not really a horror novel, but I feel like it's still very much worth a read. Um, so I guess that's kind of it, you know. So I guess I'll see you guys next time when I do my th third review in the paperbacks from hell series you know and then, then you know and then like i said my review all of them i guess i'll do it after when the, well i'll see but yeah when after i do them all i'll like rank them so anyways with that being said i'll you know see you guys next time take care and bye-bye uh,